A warning, this story contains content that may be disturbing to some viewers. You guys killed my wife and all she needed was oxygen and you guys refused it. All you did was treat her like a damn drug addict. All you cared about was her damn methadol and she needed oxygen, she needed your help and you didn't care. Some of Lillian Vanassa's last breaths. As she gasps for air at her bedside, a husband who says he begged hospital staff to give her oxygen. Vanash rushed to a Southern Alberta hospital Christmas Day with severe flu-like symptoms, dying a day later. Her husband, Corey Ashley, believes hospital staff are guilty of racism and negligence. And she told me they, they believe I'm only here for minutes. She's admitted to taking too much methadone and she hasn't had any since yesterday morning. That's not why she's here. These doctors and these nurses, no matter where they are in Canada, are still racist, are still judgmental, are still profiling people. 40-year-old Vanasse was living in the town of Hanna, 200 kilometers northeast of Calgary. She opened gifts Christmas afternoon. That night, an ambulance is called. A paramedic's report notes she was sweating and there is restriction in her right lung. I guess she's having problems breathing. Why can't you hook her up on oxygen? You're a nurse. She says, well, we're going to wait for labs and doctor to get here first. Ashley says he repeatedly asked for oxygen, then for a doctor, taking this cell phone video at the Hannah Health Center. There's an issue. Well, the doctor is looking up the rest of her staff. She's having trouble getting into the one thing, so... After several confrontations with staff, security is called, then RCMP, who asked Ashley to leave. You might as well go home for the night. Mm -hmm. um, she will likely be released in the morning. By middle of the night, he's called back. The hospital telling him his wife isn't breathing. And they're doing compressions on her chest. A nurse at the far end is putting a tube in my wife's throat and back out. I heard the nurse, our nurse, say it's been 45 minutes with no pulse since we found her. As soon as I heard that, my hand had touched my wife's leg. Her body was cold. There was no warmth at all. And right then I knew my wife had been dead for hours. This report from the hospital lists methadone withdrawal, but Ashley refutes the documents, noting Vanass was prescribed methadol for chronic pain. Ashley also shared a recording of a call with a medical examiner with City News. Okay, well, so... Pat, she told me it was to do with wet lungs, so... Yeah, so there's... there. She had, like, exactly that. She had some wet lungs, and cause of death is um, pending... Alberta Health Services says patient relations is responding to the family's concerns and the allegations will be thoroughly investigated. Ashley filed a complaint to the Alberta College of Physicians and Surgeons. He wants staff suspended, criminal charges, and is looking into his legal options. She did not deserve to die, but if she's now dead and I cannot bring her back, well, then I'm going to hope that my wife's death stands for something. In Calgary, Crystal Ladaris, City News.